DJ Octavio will be returning in Splatoon 3. This has caused a lot of people to speculate on whether he will be the final boss again. But at the very end of the trailer we did get, in yesterday's Nintendo Direct, we did hear a soundbite of Mr. Grizz, a soundbite from Grizzco Industries, a soundbite that is very familiar to Splatoon 2 players who did play the Salmon Run mode within that game. That has caused me to think that Mr. Grizz will be playing a role in the story mode within Splatoon 3's hero mode. Could Mr. Grizz and not DJ Octavio be the final boss for Splatoon 3? Could he be behind the return of the Mammalayans? I probably have pronounced that wrong. Could he be the reason why we are seeing hairy Octarians? Could he be creating them with the golden eggs that we have collected for him through the Salmon Run mode? We don't really know who Mr. Grizz is at the moment. Maybe the Splatoon 3 story mode will sort of look into that. We will learn about the identity of Mr. Grizz. All what we know at the moment is that he does communicate through a bear radio. Maybe he is a bear. Maybe that is why he wants mammals to return within Splatoon 3. But I definitely feel like that soundbite at the end of the trailer was Nintendo's way to tease us that Mr. Grizz and Grizzco will be playing a large role within the story mode for Splatoon 3. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, we got new music for Splatoon 3 in its latest trailer. Nintendo have released a demo of it. It is known as Clickbait. I feel personally attacked, although I don't really feel like I clickbait. I definitely do really like the name and you will be hearing that song in the background of this video. The band behind the new music is a new band known as Seaside. They are a three-piece band straight out of the Splatlands and despite having no formal music education and growing up without privilege, they got where they are today through talent and ambition. So yeah, there is a new band for Splatoon 3. We will learn and hear more of their music in Splatoon 3. It does seem like they will be the main band for Splatoon 3. I really do like this song. I love all Splatoon 3 music and I'm really glad we got to listen to a new song and I can't wait to hear this when I am battling away when I do get Splatoon 3 hopefully really early on in 2022. So yeah a new band known as Seaside got revealed for Splatoon 3 by Nintendo. Moving on to Splatoon 2 though we did learn about a new balance update that will be coming to the game next week. I will leave a link to the English update notes as soon as we do get it. And the final thing is that Splatoon 2 and the Octo Expansion DLC will be bundled together and sold in Japan from the 8th of October. This is something which I have said would happen for years and years now so I'm not really surprised that Nintendo are doing this with the lead up of Splatoon 3. Now is the perfect time to do it. So yeah that is pretty much it this video. Let me know your thoughts about Seaside. I will leave a link to the demo in the description so you can hear the music without me talking over it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you in another video next week when my voice has hopefully fully recovered.